welcome to my channel this is Vijay Lakshmi so in my previous video I said I'll be solving uh, in one minute the minimization of DFA to help the VTU students to pass their exam and cross verify you can cross verify whether your answer is correct or wrong uh, what you have solved using table filling algorithm for uh, uh, 10 to 12 minutes so instead of that if you want to cross verify you can go for this partition method or grouping method to check whether the states what you have uh, generated using table filling algorithm is correct or wrong so this is what the methods we follow in solving some of the gate uh, questions and all so now this method will be more helpful for the VTU students who are aiming to clear this subject and those who have arrears and all they can follow this method so that easily they can score 10 to 12 marks so this is just a one minute solving problem so here guys see I'm not following any table filling method uh, uh, procedure and all because already I have done that in the videos so this is how to identify one minute solution for this my minimization of DFA than identifying the subsets and all so here the first first step is you have to partition it into final and non-final states so here what are first group it G1 and G2 so take G1 all are non-final states and G2 all are final states so just group it into two so if you see this DFA we have all the states we have totally nine states from A to I and we have three final states C, F and I rest all are non-final states. So put C, F, I into group G2 and partition the other as non-final that is A, B, D, E, G, H. So this falls under non-final state groups that is G1 and G2. Now again check can we partition this group uh, A, B, D, D, G, E such that on reading input 0 or 1 whether it moves to group G1 or whether it moves to group G2. Based on that again you have to partition this now. So now observe A now. A on 0 it is going to B on 1 it is going to E. It means that it is going to the same group. Okay it is going to non-final on reading 0 and 1. So first I am going to split now I am partitioning this group. So in G2 I am putting now A. Okay guys. Next check B. B if you observe on 0 it is going to C and on 1 it is going to F. B on reading input 0 and 1 it is going to C and F. C and F is present in the group G2. So now you, now you have to partition this B from this group. So I am uh, writing B in one separate group. Again check now D. Check where D falls. D on reading 0 it is going to E on reading 1 it is going to H where E and H both are non-final states on reading 0 and 1 it is going to G1 so here D falls under this group ok guys hope you have understood next again check for E E if you observe on 0 it is going to F and on 1 it is going to I so F and I so here E on reading 0 and 1 F and I it is going to this group G2. F and I is present in this group. So it is same as what? It is same as B. So here E falls under this group. Okay guys. Next observe G. If you observe G, on 0 it is going to H. And on 1 it is going to B. So B and H. If you observe B and H both are present in this group G1 only. So where it falls now? It falls under this group. A, D, E. It falls under this group. Okay guys. Next observe G. G if you observe, so here G and H is remaining. Already, already we have written E, sorry here. So here E, E if I observe on 0 and 1 it is going to F and I. So E already I have written here, it is going to F and I. Next what we have E, E already over. Next is G. G if I observe on 0 it is going to H and on 1 it is going to B. So G falls under this group. Next we have H. H if you observe on 0 it is going to I and on 1 it is going to C. So I and C. I and C are under this group. So it falls under which group now? H. Okay guys. So these two are the groups we got. This is G2 and G1 we partition. We got G3 and G4. These two groups has been formed. Now Check again. The next step is check can we partition the CA, CFI? See C, F and I if you observe. C if you observe on 0 it is going to D. D is in this group. And on 1 it is going to on 1 it is going to H. H is in this group. 
So on reading 0, on 1, one it is going to this group and on 1 it is going to this group. So here now we will take C. Again check F. F you see on B it is going to G. G is present here only. On 1 it is going to B. B is present here only. So same group it is going C and F. So we cannot partition it. I if you observe on 0 it is going to A. A is also in the same group. And on 1 it is going to E. E is in this group. So all the non-final states on reading 0 and 1 both all the 3 are going to G3 and G4. So we cannot partition CF5. It remains the same. And ABG if you observe now. Again try check whether can we partition this G3. A and A if you observe on 0 it is going to B. On 1 it is going to E. So both on reading 0 and 1 it is going to the same state. Similarly D if you observe. On 0 it is going to E and on 1 it is going to H. E and H also are in the same state. So we cannot partition D also. G if you observe. On 0 it is going to H. On 1 it is going to B. So H and B again it is in the same state. So we cannot partition this. So the A, B, G all will be in a same state. Similarly B, H if you observe. B on 0 it is going to C and on 1 it is going to F. So B is going to the same final state. And E also, it is going to F5, F and I is present in the same group. And H if you observe, it is IC, again it is also going into the same group. So further we cannot partition this. So what are the states we got here? Totally we got three states, that is ADG falls under one state, BEH falls under another state and the third state is the CF5. CF5. See guys how easily we reduce to 3 states. This 9 states got reduced to 3 states. So it's a 1 minute solution. Just by applying the grouping technique, you can generate the number of states. You can easily identify and cross verify your answer using table filling algorithm how you have solved. That can be cross verified like this within 1 minute. You can identify the solution to this problem. So finally what you should do after identifying the states without forgetting you have to construct the DFA. So it's very important you have to construct the DFA. So what are the three states we got? ADG, BEH and CFI. Now A is our starting state. A, now just observe. A on 0 it is going to B. Just one if you observe it will be applicable for the remaining two, sta two states here. Then A on 1 it is going to E. So Either it is 0, 1. Either 0 or 1, it goes to the same state. Next, B, B if you observe on 0, it is going to C. And B on 1. B on 1, it is going to F. So here, 0, 1. Here also, 0, 1, it goes to the same state. And similarly, you observe CFI. C on 0, it is going to D. And C on 1, it is going to H, this group. And which is our final state now? CFI. CFI is present in this group. So this itself will be our final state. So here uh, my label is 0, 1. So this is what the final answer guys say. Within a minute we can get this. Hope you have understood. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.